Hey guys, in this video we are gonna look at how we can implement a program to calculate Fibonacci numbers. Okay, so first of all, we are gonna implement a recursive approach, and then we will improve it using DP. Okay, and then we will implement a bottom-up approach. Okay, so first of all, let's just implement recursive approach. So let me just uh, make a function here and let's take an input argument and uh, first of all let's just clear base cases okay so if n equals to 0 or n equals to 1 then we are just gonna return n else we are gonna return fib of n minus 1 plus fib of n minus 2 okay so this is our just uh, basic recursive implementation to calculate fibonacci numbers okay so let's just take an n input so and just output the fib of n okay so so i have taken input of 8 here and let's just see what will be the output okay so i just build it so we can see that our output is 21 so which is correct so let's just uh, discuss this approach now so in the recursive approach we have n and it will call to n minus 1 and n minus 2 and it will call to n minus 2 and n minus 3 and just like that it will call to n minus 3 and n minus 4 so till till the end uh, the base case is 0 or 1 okay so the in the, the first level there are there is one call at the second level there are two calls at the third level there are four calls and at the last level there are two raised to power n minus one calls <coughs> so our time complexity will be 1 plus 2 plus dot 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 2 raised to power n minus 1 which is equal to big of 2 raised to power n okay so this will be our time complexity just with basic recursion now we can apply dp to our recursion recursive solution okay so to apply dp we are gonna need a hash table or an array which we call memo okay so let's just uh, make our array so we will make a memo table and uh, we will uh, give it a size of n uh, let's just define n as 10 raised to power 4 okay now we have two mem set memo to minus 1 okay now after the base cases we can apply dp as follows so if memo of n is not equal to minus 1 we, go, we are gonna return memo of n and uh, else we are gonna return memo of n equals to fib of n minus 1 plus fib of n minus 2 so that's it guys this is our dp solution so the main problem was to think of a recursive approach to a problem and then we can just apply memoization and it will become a dp solution okay so i'm just gonna build it and uh, let's just see if we are getting right answer or not so so we are getting 21 which is correct so this is our top down approach to the fibonacci numbers so this was the top down approach now let's just implement a bottom up approach okay so for the bottom up approach we are gonna create a new file so for bottom up let's just take input first and uh, let's just define a fib array of n numbers n plus one let's say 
so fib of 0 will be 0 and fib of 1 will be 1 so fib of 1 will be 1 and uh, for lli equals to 2 i less than equal to n i plus plus fib of i equals to fib of i minus 1 plus fib of i minus 2 okay and at last we are going to print fib of n let's just see if we are getting correct answer or not okay so i'm just gonna build it so we are getting correct answer again so this we, this was the top down approach to our fibonacci numbers so that's it for this video guys and in the next video i'm gonna solve some problems based on one dimensional dp thank you